Hey everybody, so welcome back to another quick tutorial. I had so much fun doing the last one. I know it's been so long. I'm gonna try to do more regularly, these little quick three minute to five minute videos. And this time we'll be discussing uh, doubling slash layering uh, and replacing our drum tracks in Logic Pro X. Logic Pro X has a great tool for this and it's so easy. So if you're on a budget, you know, sometimes we can't afford great microphones. So if we get like a really not so great set of microphones, we can make them sound really great with uh, VSTs and software instruments, like things like that. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So we're gonna be using uh, a track from a band called Suspicious Figure that I've been working with out of North Carolina. And I'm not gonna play the actual track, but uh, we're gonna use the drums from that track. So really excited to be working with them. And it's been fun through this quarantine all the way in California doing drums for them. So. Uh, this is the last chorus, I believe, in the song. So it's just very simple. I was doing something very simple, the ride, kick, and snare. Let's go ahead and just take a quick listen. Awesome. So I've already got some, a lot of stuff on this. And as you can see, I did some comping on this. So what I ended up doing is I bounced this kick in track right before I started. And I put on another track with all my plugins, my S SSL channel, um, a, just a basic uh, Logic EQ, uh, CL2A, and then Jack Joseph Puig drums. So uh, just the kick itself is right here. So then this is inside on a, um, a Kelly shoe mount. So it's really close to the beater. It's getting a lot of that tack. Um, so it's really good for this tool. So just zoom in so we can see the transients here. And so really easy. You want to go up to up here and you want to go to track and you want to go down, whoop, replace or double drum track. Awesome. Then we just let this. So what's going to do is going to analyze the track you're on. And so right now it's set to instrument. Okay. So we're doing a kick. And you could do this for any other thing too. So what it basically is doing is... It's taking the MIDI data and it's putting in the range of kick, snare. So when we drop something else in, which we'll do when we go through this, um, it'll be in that, that closer range. So with some of the VSTs and software instruments that we use, uh, kick might be a different note than uh, what Logic has defaulted. So that's why there's, so you could do kick, snare, tom, and other. So other, you could do symbols for, for instance. And so how you can do that is you want to adjust your threshold. So that will, this is actually pretty good, as you can see right here. Um, if I solo that, they're pretty right on, right? You see that? So sometimes it could uh, register your, your snares too. So you want to adjust this. Let's see if it'll do it. I don't. Oh, see, see how some of them went. If you check right there, it got that little extra snare hit, right? So we want to make sure we just get the kick that we just want to hear. We don't want to do anything else. So, and then we have mode, replace, or double. So if you hit replace, it'll mute the other one. And um, double will just add it on. So I like to double. That's just my preference because um, I have decent microphones and I like to hear the real drum. So it's a great, if you want to do a blend of the two for electronic music, for example. So, um, so I'm going to hit uh, trigger note, auto. Um, so we can, like I said, it puts it in that range. But you could put it in a certain note range right here right and we could preview it and we can adjust the timing of like where it actually hits in and kind of adjust from there and make it sound real if we want to maybe delay it a bit you know that's what we could adjust so it typically will do the job uh, right about 90 percent of the time and then about 10 percent of the time you need to adjust so just keep that in mind okay now we're done so now just that's got to load now we're gonna just listen to, no, we don't wanna kick out. So if I wanna get a different sound, let's say I want electronic. Let's put a 808 on. Just change it, let it load. Try to get that. 
All right, I got the 808 sound on. So it's really, this is actually easy tool. It can really just enhance your mix by so much. And you can do that with any instrument. Uh, you can even do claps. If you had a microphone, you can clap and you want to do the kick snare like that. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna double click here. And as you can see, it does the velocity based off the transients. So you can see there's some greens, there's some reds. So what I like to do is just click on one and it should be command A. Command A, yep, highlights them all. And then we're gonna want to go to MIDI transform and then we're gonna go to fixed velocity. So I just like to do this um, just so everything's always even, you know, cause sometimes it, it punches out too loud. I don't like that. So, um, and you could adjust the velocity here and then you just hit uh, select and operate, done. So now you see, if I get rid of this, now they're all orange. And then you can adjust it that way too. So if you don't like that randomness of the attack. So I hopefully this was very informative for you. Um, if you have any questions, leave me comments. And um, if you wanted me to go over the snare or anything like that, uh, let me know. But that's basically it. It's so, so much easier. Um, there's a lot of drum replacement tools out there to look slate has one that's really good and then there's so so many others that i probably don't even know off the top of my head so hopefully you enjoy this video and uh hopefully you got something out of it thanks for watching